Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for March 27th through to April 2nd of 2016. I'm Renee Michelle and this is my channel here on YouTube, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. And thanks you guys for the likes, the shares, and the comments. I really do appreciate it. Keep them coming. Also, I want to let you guys know the spiritual awareness is back this week with red flags and so what's next so so what now right also um i'm gonna be doing the the monthly videos for april and also to let you guys know the website sale will still be going on the 30 dollars for consultation for spiritual help and also for um for reading and that will um be in at least until uh april 3rd and if you want to contact with me contact with contact me when you're ready for a reading it's down below <laughs> i don't know what that was <laughs> i couldn't get that sentence out I don't, this sentence just didn't make sense so my brain kept stopping it but y'all know what to do <laughs> okay aries your weekly reading This homeboy right here, Knight of Swords, right? Almost every reading is almost every. This homeboy right here, the one that when the king yells charge, he takes off because he knows he's done all the studying that he needs to do, right, on war. So he's ready to go. So I feel like a lot of people feel like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm However many smarts I have, let's do it. So let's go for it, right? This is also about wanting to expand your mind other in other ways than you normally do, right? This is college, you know? But this is also, you know, taking classes online, doing things that, you know, different, right? Going on vacation and learning that way. Going to Thailand and learning about Thailand. That kind of a thing. Five of Cups, right? And the Three of Swords is what the feeling is coming into this week. So the Five of Cups is about looking, <coughs> excuse me, about looking back on the past, right? Like, what do I do now that so-and-so's gone and remembering the bad times or remember, just looking back in general, right? And this causes you sorrow. Because you're sad about it. Here she is looking back at the heartache looking back at the at the pain and the suffering that you have gone through on an emotional level when it comes to love and at the beginning of this week we have the empress right right because i feel like you the empress is motherly kind beautiful um, and she's pregnant with ideas. This is also about pregnancy, and I've been saying that a lot. I guess it's because it's the spring weather or whatever. But I've been saying it a lot. Um, she can manifest anything. 
So this is the feeling that you have, which is a great feeling that you have. And also this, this feeling of knowing that you can manifest these things, that you're creative enough to do this, that you're, you know, that you, you're good enough to do this. It, it gives you strength, right? You feel good. You feel in your element, Aries. Because at the middle of the week, I feel like I have the King of Cups here. And I feel this is you getting your emotions under control. Right? You getting your emotional emotions under control. Because you know you have decisions to make. You have choices to make. You have things to make. By the end of the week, right, we have the Hierophant card and the Ten of Cups. This is weddings. This is marriage. This is marriage. That's it. Can you believe that, Aries? That's it. This is marriage. So at the, with the outcome of the week is the page of swords, right? Which is under the night. So it's age is really, she ready to ready to go off and take on the world. She ready to do that, right? But this is a, the beginning of, you know, this is that beginning stages of knowing that you want to, to visit China, that you want to, you know, that you want to visit England, that you want to go to Tahiti. All of this is in time, right? And now that you know that you want to do it, right? The page of swords is next to the knight of um, pentacles who takes his time before making decision. He surveys and looks around and makes the choices that he's going to make, right? So you're going to look at the travel agency and get the best deals, right? Get the best deals. Somebody, some of y'all at the end of this week is, you know, making plans with the church and stuff as far as this wedding and this marriage is concerned. This is getting married. Somebody's getting married. Right? So now that you know the, what you want to do, it's about how we're going to go about it. What travel agency we're going to use. Are we going to grow on Groupon and get one of those quick deals, which are nice <laughs> and inexpensive. Anyway, guys, all right, Aries, enjoy your week. Stay blessed and ashe. Love you.